All right, bitches, time for the adventures of Cloud motherfucking Strife in Final Fantasy VII. Now, we are all ready to go into the Temple of the Ancients. Now, this is definitely going to be the longest, like, dungeon area we've encountered thus far. Really, this is probably pretty much the first dungeon we're going to do. Oh, yeah, let me take uh, cover off, and I want to give Aerith... I think Earth. Yeah, let's have her level up some Earth some more. Um, because, you know, some of the other places were rather short. You know, Cave of the Guys, not that long. I guess if you want to count the Shinra headquarters, actually, that's... <laughs> that place is fucking gigantic. But here we go. So now we've got this, uh... Temple of the Ancients theme that just plays. I like it. It's cool. Of course, this is pretty much the, the only area in the game that you hear it in, though. Yeah, so Aerith, you know, she likes to fuck, you know, the ground. No big deal. She can feel it. Alright, so... Throughout this entire section, we're gonna get moments like this, where Aerith is talking to the temple itself. Hmm... Very interesting. So the temple is housing some great secret, you say? I don't under- Alright, so the temple is happy. <laughs> what? Awesome! We've got the happy temple today. Alright, and then there's one of the Sephiroth copies up there. Alright, she wants to go inside. Well, yes, girl. Let me- Cloud motherfucking strife will take you inside all day. Hello, Mr. Sephiroth copy. Looking for that black motherfucking materia, huh? Another guy with a tattoo. Yep. Okay, bye! I just... <laughs> well, you're dead. Probably. Maybe not, though. And hey, Sing, how you doing? You look like you're doing A-OK. -okay. What do you mean? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Sephiroth is here? Say what? Okay, here we go. So Sephiroth is in the temple. Letting her go? Uh, you didn't let her go, we escaped. Oh, now Aerith is just like, no, you're wrong. Yeah, well, hmm. The promised land, it's not like they imagined. Well, Aerith, it kind of is, actually. Yeah, so Sing and Aerith, they have a very strange relationship. Alright, the Keystone. So we got the Keystone back, so Kate Sith didn't really fuck us that bad. Actually, to be honest, Kate Sith's betrayal does nothing. The only thing that it allows to happen is that Sing gets owned over here, but Sing doesn't die or anything, so... Really, Kate Sith getting the keystone and giving it to Sing, it really affects nothing. Unless, well, it's not ever stated how Sephiroth gets in the temple. I guess if Sephiroth is able to get in the temple because Sing and the Turks were here, that would make sense. So that's really the only thing it does is Kate Sith taking the keystone from us allowed Sephiroth to get in the temple, I suppose. Alright, Sing, so, uh, we're just gonna fuck off. Oh, yeah, so he... Oh, we can talk to him. I... <laughs> no, no shit. No, no shit, no shit. Um, okay, so I should mention, um... So, Sing got owned. We'll find out what happened to him later. Um, later on in the game, there's a mistranslation that makes it appear as though Sing dies. But Sing does not die during the events of Final Fantasy VII. He survives Final Fantasy VII. 
I always love this. All right, so the door opened. What am I gonna do? Um, let's think about it. <laughs> Down we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I actually, I do like this place because, you know, you never come back. Like, it's just a one-off dungeon. This place is pretty fun. Oh, there's a lot of feelings in the air. Feels like a threesome to me, Aerith, huh? Huh? Do you think we're welcome here? Well, actually, yes, I do. Because we're with Aerith, who's the last ancient. So, I certainly do think we're going to be welcome here. We can do it! We do it! That reminds me of um, the developer of uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake. What, what, what is his catchphrase? I think it was just, we do it. Like, badly <laughs> translated, like, Japanese-like type thing. We do it! <laughs> the RE2 remake. All right, the trident. That is, I believe that's a weapon for Sid. God, I can't wait to see you Sid nonstop in disc two. We're gonna be using tons of Sid. Uh, who are some other people we'll use a lot of? I, I wanna use some Kate Sith, cause we've barely used Kate Sith to this point. Um, Nanaki, Yuffie, Vincent. Uh, I'll probably go a little light for most of disc two on Tifa since we've seen her so much. And of course, by this point, no regular enemies are really going to be doing anything to us outside of maybe being able to uh, do some status effects. That's that's really the only thing. Um, while I'm in the inventory, real quick, uh, let me go over to Aerith's staves. Now, I okay, Aura Rod, because <clears throat> I was gonna say, I remember buying a bunch of extra staves for, and it's the Aura Rod. So we'll give her an Aura Rod and a Mithril Armlet at the end of the temple. And then we got the Trident. A new weapon for Sid, very good. Oh, okay. So let's go follow this uh, weird mofucka who's just clowning around over here. Wait. Oh, yeah. So this place, it's kind of like a maze, but it's not as difficult as it appears to navigate through it. It's really not. All right, let's see, what else do we got? Uh, this enemy. So this enemy, the Under Lizard, he likes to use an interesting little um, technique called Petrify Frog. Kind of a combination of uh, that group of enemies where one petrifies and one frogs, but I mean, it's really not that difficult when he's by himself. Remedies, I like that. I could make use of remedies. Because even if later on, like, I go into the battle square with Cloud having a ribbon, you know, your accessory can be broken. Alright, we can't go in this door. That sound brings back memories. Oh, what? Oh, Cloud. Oh, Cloud! Alright, so we want to follow this homeboy. Real quick, though, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this uh, Turbo Ether right here. Uh, there actually are a number of really good treasures here in the Temple of the Ancients. And here's another one. A mine source. So let's go ahead and make Cloud Mofucking Strife a little stronger. Raise that spirit, boy! Okay, mind source is what? Magic defense? So that's actually, that's, yeah, mind sources are very important. I would, actually, I, I would almost say mind sources might be the most important. Magic defense towards the end of the game is probably one of the more important things. All right, what do we got here? Ke Kells Melzers. Okay, so I put MP Absorb uh, on Odin. Let me see how much that gives us. Oh, God damn it, Cloud. Now, I know Odin costs um, 80 MP. So, it'll be interesting to see exactly how much this is going to cost with MP Absorbed. Later on, once MP Absorbed uh, goes up a lot of levels, you know, you basically can use, you know, magic spells for free. Or even you'll gain more MP than you lost. Damn! Wait a minute, that didn't... 
I didn't gain jack shit from that, Cloud. What the fuck? Yeah, MP absorb. Huh, interesting. Uh, okay, yep. Poison doesn't last after battle, which is fucking awesome. Hello, my friend. I'd love to talk to you, mysterious creature. But let me go ahead and grab this treasure first. Uh, silver rifle. This is one of the joke weapons for, um, Vincent. Uh, you know, they're, like, we got Yuffie Super Balls 1. Aerith's Umbrella is one. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and use uh, Aerith's Umbrella real quick. Uh, so we'll give all of her material right there to Kate Sith. And we'll give her the Umbrella. Because I'm running out of chances to show that off, so bam. Uh, you know what? I also kind of... I want her to have a summon. Because when you use a summon, it zooms in on that character so we'll swap her earth for yeah titan's fine actually no 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 let's use it's been a long time since we've used shiva okay hello my friend <laughs> num num oh what is he eating some of those delicious ramen noodles right vegeta and weiss <laughs> Yeah, I, okay, so I could never quite figure out exactly what the fuck this thing is. This is definitely something I'm looking forward to the remake. Like, what exactly are you? Oh, well, <laughs> thank you, Aerith. <laughs> they're the spirit bodies of the ancients. Alright, so this dude is protecting the temple, gotcha. I love how she, she spends, uh, like, a couple seconds explaining to us, he can't talk. Hey, please talk to me! Like, to Aerith, what? <clears throat> yeah, but she, she can pretty much figure out what he means. Oh, yeah, because Sephiroth is here. Well, Sephiroth is a bad motherfucker. I don't blame him for being scared. Not one bit. Uh, yeah, so let's rest. No doubt. Get all that shit filled up. Uh, can I buy something? Sure. I don't know why he would care about money, but I'm not gonna complain. Uh, we don't need any of those. No, we're good. We're good. Hyper, tranquilize. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Yeah, let me grab a bunch of these. Um, and let me grab... I wanna grab, uh, six. We have 15, and then four, so we got 15. And we'll grab a tent. Why not? So there we go, Mr. Um, ancient Man. I hope you have good use for that money. All right, so let's show off Aerith's umbrella then. Uh, all right, so we want to come back the way we came, actually. And we want to go through that doorway where the turbo ether was. Oh! All right, here we go. All right, th this material, we're going to get this in a second, is another very useful uh, pink materia. I love all of those. Hey, boy! Which, what's up? Uh, luck plus, magic plus, all those types of materials. I love speed plus, of course, which we've already got from the battle square. Alright, and we got a rocket punch. Uh, this, I believe, is Barrett's joke weapon. Now, all of these joke weapons being in the Temple of the Ancients, this is the clue that really you're probably supposed to come here before you go to Wutai. Because it would make sense that the game is giving you all these weapons that don't have materia slots when you're in an area where you don't have any materia. So clearly the game is designed with the intention of you coming here before Wutai, but it didn't matter because we're fucking beastie. Alright, so let's summon Shiva so we can see that umbrella. Don't hit- yes, good. Don't hit Aerith. Look at that! Um, she's using a motherfucking umbrella, man! Come on! <laughs> Listen, getting that high score in the speed square was damn worth it. When you could see that sick umbrella she's rocking. Alright, after this, I'll switch her back to her normal, um... Weapon, though. 
Oh. Motherfucker, so he's still alive. Although, it's only going to require, like, a... Like, really, like a bolt, too, or something to take him out. Uh, but sure, let's hit him with a, uh... Now let's hit him with a bolt three, why not? Man, I fucking love these level three magic spells. I am not even gonna lie. Another remedy, nice, nice. All right, so let's give Aerith her good weapon again, which is the fairy tale. There we go. And get all this materia back from my good friend Kate Sith. All right, so this is interesting to see that Kate Sith and Sid, they both have weapons that I really like where they have eight materia slots. Those are definitely my favorite. But okay, so let's head up here and let's grab... This is actually the Luck Plus materia. I'm probably not going to toss it on now, but eventually we'll be using this. Now it says Lucky Plus, but that's just, you know, some translation shenanigans right there. It's actually just called the Luck Plus. There we go. Luck 10%. It's actually pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of good shit. I still do want to master a couple more Lightning Materias. So that deep in the disc too, I could really use that combo good. You know, W magic plus quadra magic plus all this shit. Cloud is going to be tossing out 16 bolt threes in one action. Uh, da, 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 da. I actually think, yeah, we're good for now. We can leave this area. Because that chest that was right above us was actually, we get that later. Oh, I probably could have skipped this fight, but whatever. I'll... I don't, you know, I don't want to go crazy always skipping all of the fights. Because the whole point of the game is the fights, so I'm not, <laughs> not going to go nuts doing that. Oh, we got Fetch Ogobo again! Are you kidding me? Fucking awesome! Is that... That's two in this playthrough already? Holy shit! Again, boy, was, I said it at the time, but Fat Chocobo is what, like a 5% chance? Fucking sick, Tifa. And I think Tifa has done it both times, right? Wow, Tifa. Apparently Fat Chocobo loves those big bazongas you've got, eh, girl? Yeah. Alright, when I was a young child, this room always fucked me up. You gotta, like, yeah, just get in the middle. When I was... Oh, look at that. Whoop, excuse me. How did I miss that? I was definitely there. Oh, God, embar embarrassing, Cloud Motherfucker. No, it got me again! Yeah, see, this, this is one of those things that for some reason I get destroyed in. Alright, come on, Cloud. Cloud Motherfucking Stripe does not fuck up. Oh, my God. Oh, we got it, we got it. We're beastie out here. Cloud Motherfucking Stripe doesn't play that shit. What's up? We'll get that morph material in a second. Get in there, Cloud. Cloud Motherfucking Stripe doesn't play this shit. One more. Oh, Cloud, what up? Bam, bitch. <laughs> One try. <laughs> Actually, that didn't really take that much out of us, that Indiana Jones section right there. Yo, her reaction. She just did an anime reaction right there. Okay, yes, hurry this way. Okay, here we come. Yo, that morph material. I'm so excited to finally get my hands on morph. We'll be able to get a lot of interesting items with Morph. Alright, so this pool right here... Um... This is pure knowledge, basically, from, like, the center of the Earth. It's trying to say something. Oh, it said we're fucked. <laughs> Yo, this Materia standing in front of me is distracting, Aerith. Hurry it along. Yes, danger. Come on. All right. See, this is where Aerith, it's like, an evil consciousness? No way. Uh, yes, girl. We know Sephiroth is in the temple. Oh, they're going to show us. Okay. Look what you could do with ultimate knowledge, man. A lot. 
And that would be Sing right there. And there's Elena too. Can we find the promised land with this? Well, this room doesn't really depict the promised land. It uh, depicts something quite a bit different, actually. Yeah, be careful, Sing. Don't get slashed in half by Sephiroth, please. Oh, Sing, my boy! Sliding in there. He just slid up in her DMs. Sing, you naughty dog, you. You dirty boy. Whoo, she is splooshing right now. Oh, it's getting real moist. She, right now, Elena, she's just on top of the world. Remember, Reno and Rude told us that she likes Sing, and he just asked her out? Whew! What a happy day. I sure hope, sure hope Sephiroth doesn't show up. Oh, hi, Sephiroth. You're not gonna, not gonna dominate Sing by any chance, are you? Hey, Sing! Don't try and fight Sephiroth. He's a living god, by the way. You gotta save this for Cloud motherfucking Strife! Okay, yes, interest. Okay, here we go, yeah. So, Kate Sith stealing the Keystone. The only thing it really does is allow Sephiroth to get in the Temple of the Ancients. <clears throat> so, good job, you fuck. Oh, so he's gonna tell us what- Oh, yeah, Lost Treasure House of Knowledge. So that's, like, super important, actually. Because we saw how ridiculously obsessed Sephiroth was with all of Professor Gast and Professor Hojo's reports in the Shinra Manor. So we can only imagine how ridiculous he's gonna be with all this uh, knowledge of the Ancients. Oh, so Sephiroth is just telling us his plan right now? Okay, yeah. Remember, Bugenhagen did explain how, like, when people die, like, they, you know, do become one with the planet again. So, basically, everyone who's ever lived, Sephiroth is going to meld with all of that knowledge and power. Hmm, that seems a little bit OP to me, Sephiroth. I don't know if I'm going to be able to let that just happen. Sorry. Alright, so here's where we find out that Sing is actually incredibly powerful. Because... Yeah, okay, so yeah, through death, new spirit energy, blah 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 blah. I'll explain Sephiroth's plan later. Okay, so this scene we just saw, that already happened. That's why Sing was fucked up at the door to the Temple of the Ancients. So Sing is actually a monster. Because he just took a full-on slash from Sephiroth, and he survives that shit. So, Sing gets much respect from me. Yeah, so we gotta head to that room. Uh, oh, okay, Cloud, yes. Where is the pop-up picture room? I'd like to go there. Aerith, almost there. Ah, uh, kinda. Oh, oh, the game's ending here, guys. Good thing. Because, I mean, shit, this is what... This is either part 51 or part 52 right now. I am stunned by that. I, I'll admit I did. Oh, Sephiroth, are you, get out of that knowledge, you bitch. Um, this, I underestimated Final Fantasy VII a little bit in just exactly how long it's gonna take, because the date sequence was part 50. I did not think that was gonna happen. That shit is crazy. Like, part 50 for Kingdom Hearts 2, like, I was, you know, about ready to finish off the main story. You know, part 50 for Final Fantasy 6, that mod, we are already in the world of ruin. Like, here in Final Fantasy 7, we're still on fucking disc 1. This shit is crazy. And it's even like Final Fantasy Tactics. By part 50? Like, what? that was like fighting Dice Dark was part 50. Uh, yeah, let's just save right here. This is fine. 42 hours in. Oh, boy. 
Uh, all right, so here's my favorite room. Love this. All right, so we get the clock. Uh, notice how the four doesn't use the correct Roman numeral. Now, I've heard that, like, in England, they did use the four like that, and that some Rolex watches actually do use the Roman numeral four like that, but the one everyone's most familiar with is IV, not just, you know, four I's. All right, yes, I, I know how to do this. Thank you. Um, okay, so let's, uh, yeah, move it myself. We're good. Okay, so... <clears throat> this is a clock right here. There's 12 doorways, but there's actually 13 rooms we can go to. Um, if I let this second counter knock me off, we'll go to... I don't know if a hidden room is the proper word for it, but we'll go to a room we can't get to another way. Uh, that'll get us a nice treasure. So let's start out by going there, because it's going to cause us to backtrack a little bit. 